They came, they queued, and they hoped to conquer. Or oh, Watford's going to lose. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Our goal, we're going to wrap it up in the last couple of minutes with a Sinclair winner. How about that, guys? Yeah. yeah. Come on, you three! But despite all that colourful optimism, it proved to be another night of heartache for the Green Army. A moment's lapse in concentration and a clinical finish from Hammer Buatza was ultimately enough to shatter the dreams of most of the 21,000 packed into home park. With the Premiership side taking an early lead, we should have expected it to be pretty one-sided after that. It was, but it was the so-called underdogs who dominated. We just had that feeling that it might not be your day, but... We came into the changing rooms at half-time and we felt if we just keep plugging away, just keep going with the way it was going, something would fall for us and go in. In the end, it was only the brilliance of Watford's England goalkeeper Ben Foster who denied Argyle a replay, although that was cold comfort for their manager. We'd never get a better chance than that. In my opinion, everybody said it was a winnable tie, but we've just lost it. But the, the fans, the city, the town, I've been so proud of it, that's why I'm here. I'm going to pull this... Lovely score if he has to have to throw away now because it obviously ain't very lucky. <laughs> so it eventually finished 1 0 to Watford just as it did in the semi final 23 years ago. They still talk about that game, of course, and you get the feeling that these fans will be talking about this one for years to come and just wondering how Argyle failed to avenge that defeat. How unlucky were we today, hey? I, I, I'm speechless. Yeah, we played well, we deserve to beat them. For Plymouth Argyle, there's a, a really bright future, and they'll feel they'll feel disappointed tonight. Um, but when you got a support like that, and when you got a manager and a team like that that'll work for him, then there's only one direction I think the club can go. To be honest, the players now have just a couple of days to get over their disappointment before Wednesday's league game with Barnsley. It might take the fans a little longer.